Hello, hello. Is not great? Wow, that's what we have this year for you all. You know, welcome to our day two. My name is João Federici. I am the World Cinema Programmer and Vivel Cine Manager. I'll tell you about, yeah, uh, <laughs> horror feeling today. Good? Ready for the film? Yes. Uh, I would like to talk a little bit for you about the Vivel Cine. Uh, Vivel Cine is a program inside the lineup which spotlights the best of Latino Ameri Latin American stories, US Latinx cinema, and Spanish language stories. Their stories have all their forms, colors, and gender. It is an excellent opportunity to be in contact with the new cinema Latino. Yes, and after watching hundreds of films, attending several national and international films, international fe film festivals, my team and I are thrilled to share with you, with you what is the best in the filmmaking this year. Yes, and tonight. <laughs> this is the first night of Vive El Cine. We are, it's, it's our kickoff. Uh, yeah, thank you. And tonight we have the US premiere of Charcoal, directed by Karolina Markovic from my, yeah, my mother country, Brazil. Yeah. Okay. Charcoal, who is Brazilian here? Has many Brazilians in the room? Oh, yeah. Welcome. Bem-vindos. Espero vocês mais no cinema, hein? Um, Charcoal is presented in association with Frameline, Cinemas, uh, SF Latino Film Festival, and with the great support of the Consulate of Brazil in San Francisco. And uh, I'd like to invite you to the stage, to the stage, Deputy Consul General Mr. Eugenio Vargas Garcia. Thank you. Thank you, hello. Don't worry, I won't give a speech. <laughs> I know everybody is excited to, to watch the movie. I'm excited too. Yeah. And then this is uh, one of the cultural activities we are supporting this year. And we are glad to join uh, the Mill Valley Film Festival. It's a great, uh, uh, a, a, a great event and we, we know that this is important. And uh, we are glad, very happy to have this partnership with you. But uh, you know that uh, 2022 is the year we are celebrating 200 years of independence in Brazil. So it will be <laughs> true. And we will be organizing in, uh, on December the 17th a uh, concert for, with uh, the Young Napa Valley Orchestra. Oh, cool. uh, so it's the bicentennial concert at uh, the War Memorial in San Francisco. So you are all invited. And, uh, but tonight we have a charcoal. Yes. With uh, the director, Caroline is here. Yes. She is one of the most talented filmmakers of her generation. So we are very happy to have Caroline with us uh, tonight. And now I will begin my speech. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> have a nice evening, enjoy the movie. Thank you, thank you so much. <risos> ai, ai, ai. Vamos ver, né? A gente tá todo mundo esperando. Uh... <risos> also, I want to invite Charcoal Directors Carolina Markovic just for a few words before the screening because we gonna have a Q&A after the, 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 the screening and uh, with the leading actress Maev Jenkins Wow, following the film. Yeah, you see. I don't bring her now because I want you watch that first and you see her. Yeah. Okay, Carolina, could you come here for a few words? Just for a few words. Yeah. Hello. Uh, oh, yeah. 
old. Look, you're pretty, no? In talent. <laughs> Well, now I'm so shy, I wasn't going to make a speech, I'm, I'm going to make even less now, but <laughs> thank you so much for being here, it's a huge pleasure to be here in this awesome city that I, I'm having the opportunity to know now, and João and the programmers, thank you so much for inviting us over. Uh, I won't say much to spoil, I, but I do hope you like the film and we'll be here speaking after, so that's it, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you all for coming here tonight. And uh, please, stick around for the Q&A. You'll be really cool. You know, enjoy the film. Thank you. Thank you. Without further ado, the leading actress, Maeve Jenkins. <laughs> woo -hoo. and the writer and director, Karolina Markovic. Yes. Hi, Mil Valley. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Evie. Well, thank you for coming and, and thank you for staying. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, you for accepting our invitation. Thank you both. We it's were so thrilled about that. Uh, yeah, let's start this conversation. <laughs> first, congratulations. Always, I always, I, since the first time I watched this film, it talked me, uh, touched me so with this gripping story, you know, and that the, it's incredible. You are first feature, you know? And uh, I need to say that uh, always the same question, but I think she is already knows that we need, it. We, we all would like to know how did you come up with the idea? <laughs> yeah, that's the, the first one, no? <laughs> Could you tell us a, bit, a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, so, Thank you again for staying now. <laughs> uh, well, I grew up in the countryside of Sao Paulo in Brazil. And for me, it has always been very something that always interests me, uh, uh, the difference between the truth and what could be shown outside of the houses. Um, many stories and people talking about the others and you could do that but you could not be gay and you know i lived that myself uh, and also there was this woman that everyone everyone knows each other in small cities and she was very tough and you know very a big woman and she was married to a guy that was always drunk and always laughing and it was you know, quite a quite a character. And once she she fought with another woman from the city and she threatened her to death. And she didn't live in the small village. She lived a bit far away in a house. And I was always wondering what could happen in that house. <laughs> so this was the first thing that came into my mind to create this story about this woman. And well, she inspired. <laughs> And you start with the first, you start with uh, Irene, Irene is the character, no? And uh, you start from the beginning with her story, like uh, she was an inspiration for you? She was, but actually the, uh, the, screenplay, the screenplay, I've been developing it for more than five years. And at first it was more focused ab about uh, on that organization that would uh, switch people that need to hide to you know people that was in vegetative states and then it was more focused on the on the drug dealer and then in the last few months i decided to make it more focused on the family and especially on the on this matriarch this woman who would completely lead the story and all her choices and you know yeah let's talk with my ev no <laughs> <laughs> my ev We've been working, we've worked with great Brazilian directors, such as Kleber Mendonça Filho, much of you here know that Aquarius, remember there? Yes, 
and the, Gab Gab uh, and the Gabriel Mascaro, Neil Bow, uh, among many others. Uh, how was the f to work with Carolina in this? <laughs> in front of her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, um, I think um, Carolina has a lot of qualities as a filmmaker, but one of the biggest qu qualities of her is um, the way she's always able to deal with her actors, her cast. And, and I can say, I'm not talking about my, my, my own job, but all the cast. I really admire my, my colleagues in this work. I'm pretty much um, proud of them. And including Jean, which is a little genius, the, the, the little boy. And um, Carolina has a quality that, as a um, writer, she's always able to um, reveal the film during the, the, the rehearsals. She, and, and I think she's a, a sign of intelligence and, and, and also generosity, but I, I think in, is intelligent as a filmmaker to, um, to be able to recognize with, with what is not working during the rehearsals. So, so sometimes she, she was always, oh, this line is it's shitty. This is so bad. <laughs> Let's change. So uh, she she trusts her cast. So we used to improvise, and the day after she came with another um, scene, and we, we 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 could feel that we were um, working together. We were we were not just um, and and. A director and a, a yeah, we were we were a team, you yes, know. Like we were, collaborative. Yeah, and it, 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 as an actor, it's it's a it's a it's a really big thing. Yeah, and you were talking about uh, rehearsals. Uh, how is your process? How was that during the process? Uh, you you how long it took to 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 start shooting? Well, uh, Maeve and Cesar Bordon, who plays the drug dealer, they were in... He's Argentinian, he's Argentinian. Uh, the actor. And they were in the project since it exists, since the first draft of the script. I invited both of them and I was so lucky they accepted. Uh, so we were talking about it over and over for years, but the process of rehearsal itself, it took... Um, we, they, we go to the city like one month before of the shooting and we start rehearsing together. And then we find Jean like two days before the rehearsal. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so we put ev everyone together, like the, those very talented, experienced actors like Maevi, um, Romulo, who plays Jairo, uh, Camila, who plays Luciana, and everyone. But Cesar comes from Argentina. Um, one day before his shoot, so he didn't know anyone, which would be interesting because he would need to feel like a... He didn't rehearse? So. No, he, we not, did some not with us. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. We, 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 yeah. we, we met almost in, 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 inside the, the scene. The day before. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of like that because we did like a reading of the script a couple of, like two times with all them together. And they were rehearsing for like 20 days, Maevi, Romulo, Jean, and the family, and the friend and everyone. But Cesar, who would need to be like a stranger in this world, he, he didn't rehearse at all with them. So That is interesting because also he is an element that uh, he's the stranger yeah. for the family. Yeah. Maybe that was the really work it there, huh? Yeah, and also <laughs> Jean. <laughs> yeah, but, and Jean also, uh, who is a known actor, who is a boy from the city, Joanopolis, and he's a son of people who work in charcoal factory over there, and he's a genius. Uh, he's so talented, and you know, my, my uh, location manager found him one day. We were looking for location, and th there's this boy playing soccer, teasing his small brother, and then my location manager um, makes a video of him, and said, he's a very close friend of mine, so he knows my taste very well, and he was like, oh my god, I think I, fi I found the kid. <laughs> because in the script, it was, not, uh, it was written to be a girl. So I was like, oh, I'm going to choose uh, from the kid that I find the most 
interesting kid with the more charisma and I mean, it could be a girl or a boy, but it didn't have it defined, and I would prefer by that time that it was a girl. But then we found Jean, Bruno, this friend of mine, showed me this video, and we did one, one, like one test with him, and, yeah. and you meant about process. He never read the script. I would be telling him the lines, and he improvised a lot with them. D during the shooting? During the shooting, not that much. Okay. Some scenes, only in some scenes. For instance, in the Disha scene, where sh she's with him, and I was like, Jean, be a, be a naughty boy to your mom, Bad disobey boy. her. Yeah. And she didn't know that she was only asking him to do things, and he was like, you know, he gives, he, he, he delivers. It's amazing, you know, it's a boy is good. And uh, that's interesting because also you are a great actress that you are, uh, to work with uh, 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 the boy that is no actor, and uh, what that add or bring to your work as an actress, to work with a, a kid that has no visuals, no, or, you know, Life. no school, no nothing, you know, yeah. he comes cr like you. It's crazy because, um, it depends of the non-actor, but in this case, he's, he was so, he's, he's so really so talented. This scene yeah. where we improvised for, I don't know, 20 minutes. He was, we were always playing and uh, he never um, um, got out of the baliza, how can I say that the in character. English? The character? Yeah. He, he was always answering inside the, the, the narrative, the fiction yeah. narrative. So I was in scared. Situation. Sometimes in to prof for, for, for yeah. professional actors, it's yeah. not easy to do. Yeah. And so... Oh, yeah. A, a, a lot of situations that I asked him for something that was... Um, I don't remember this. this he, he was like washing dishes and, and he was supposed to disobey her, and he, but he didn't have line. The scene was not even written. In the last day of shooting, I was like, I'm going to do scenes that I think uh, the film is missing. And we did yeah. like half of the shooting day, the scenes, and they are all in the film. Yeah. I mean, there are many films that were written that are not in the film, but this day was, you know, we are... Every day we were like, oh, that's good, we did that day. And then Jean, he was like talking to her, and w at one point he looked at the, the dish and he was like, why are you washing? This is not even yours, this is Luciana's, <laughs> yes. the neighbor. Yes. I mean, it was like a prop of the, the place. I was it shocked. He, 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 I was shocked. Oh my God, this, 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 this is a genius. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. slow. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, but but uh, as an actor, I won life you know because he was so fresh yeah that's so for a actually a lot of non-actors in the film the the professor and and the school scene the the right. director's yeah. school scene she's also also no actress non -actor. yeah yeah and she was amazing so for for us because you know carolina spent i don't know five six years writing and for actors we have Sometimes, in this case, 20 days to get inside the, mm. that life that, you know, so it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One week before we start shooting, I thought, my God, I'm going to ruin my, my career. <laughs> this is not going to work. No one will <laughs> believe in this character. I'm so... <laughs> 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 And you know, <laughs> in, in, in the time you are in the sand, you just have one choice. Give up and be in panic, or be in panic and just Do you your know, job. get yeah, get Go inside and yeah, it's an av adventure. As we are talking about casting, you know, I, how do you put together? Because you have great actors, award actors in your film. How did you cast? Well, I have always been a huge fan of Maeve, a huge fan. I mean, you didn't know her uh, personally. In person. No, 
Oh, I didn't cool. know. I, I got in touch with her through Zita, the producer. Yeah. Because Zita Carvalhosa. She, she put us in, in touch for me to send her the script uh, in the first draft. And that's how we got in touch and started, you know, uh, talking to each other. But we pretty much knew each other personally when we started uh, the rehearsal. It was, it was really like that. But I've always been a huge fan of her work. I mean, Neon Boo for me is one of the best films, yeah. Brazilian film in, of the last years. And also uh, her performances in Neighboring Sounds. I mean... I always wanted to work with her and Romulo as well and Camila, Pedro, they are always, you know, I've always admired their work. But I really enjoyed this mix between the, the talented and experienced actors with actors who, who, with non-actors, with people that, you know, doesn't even want to be an actor because I, I, I think they don't get frightened, you know, in front of the very talented and they are, they don't care, you know, they are just doing something there and like the hairdresser, Kim, used to be my hairdresser when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, in Bragança, in the city and the the woman who plays the school director, who was the mother of a boy who did a test for Jean. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking the mother, not him. Yeah, and she wasn't taking the test, but you know, I was like, hmm, this woman, she's interesting. <laughs> so, and they are there, like Jean. Jean, he was, he, I mean, I hope he follows his work as an actor, but he didn't intend it to be an actor. So I think this freshness makes something bring something interesting because it's so different. The technique that the actors have and the known actors don't have, yeah. it should get into a point that, you know, uh, the intersection, I think it should be natural, otherwise it doesn't work at all. So I think it's like uh, too much or nothing, you know? So yeah. it should, you know, something must happen for it to feel real. I, I enjoy this mix. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to change the subject, but more for a techno, technical thing. Um, you, I'd like, I'm curious about you, how was your experience, how was, how was and it is your challenges to change the, 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 to the length to short? Because you have three, four, five, six, I don't know how many, six shorts. She was uh, a world in festivals like Cannes, uh, South by Southwest, and many others, Mix Brazil, and uh, uh, how was how was your ch challenges to change the length to the short to the feature? How was that for you in terms of? Uh, you know, very hard. Very hard. <laughs> very hard. I mean, I, I always, I think making cinema is very difficult, but making a feature is crazy difficult. Uh, it, I mean, <laughs> oh, wow, it was, I mean, I, it was, it's completely different. It's almost another, you know, it's completely different to tell a story in 15, in 20 minutes, and I love shorts. It's not that it's worse or better, but to tell a story in one hour and a half and two hours, you know, in terms of rhythm and storyline and everything, you have much more things to think about. And also uh, a feature film somehow has more people involved, has more money involved, so you have other responsibilities. I think you are, you know, free, more free or freer, I don't know how. Freedom. Uh, yeah, you have more freedom because you have less people involved and less money involved. So, I mean, you feel very pressured in doing the feature, in doing feature, I, I felt at least. Even though that was good because I have the, the cast that was very close to me. We got very like a family. And also um, a huge part of the crew, like the DOP, production designer, AD, they were uh, all very talented, but good friends of mine who had done my shorts people who I knew, and it was very important for me to feel supported by those people, because otherwise I, I would go insane. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I do like to touch on something with you, because I'm delighted. I told you, and I, I repeat forever, because I'm delighted with her uh, characterization this, with this film. I think it's incredible. You are unrecognizable. 
you know? And uh, this character guides us through the conflicts and the all scenes, and uh, many times with just a look, without words. And uh, how was it for you? How was to transform in this, in your irony? irony? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, well, I have been reading um, all the versions of the script for the past, I don't know, six years. But I felt like her last version, which was in the middle of pandemic, was um, really strong. And, 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 and the script won so many layers that at that moment was making a, such a profound sense for me as a human being. Uh, and I think it's a very political film. So this was the beginning for me. I felt like, wow, this is really moving for me. This is, this, this is, it's, it sounds sometimes, can, can sound some uh, um, just entertainment um, film, but for me it was very political. It was pretty much about Brazil uh, that we are facing right now, which, um, you know, and, and the name of family and in the name of God, you can do a lot of terrible things. And sometimes in the um, uh, unconsciousness um, um, way yeah. for her in this case. So, but the challenge for me was, <laughs> this is maybe um, con contra contradictional? Contradictory. Contra yeah. contra 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 oh, oh, sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> Is that, no? I promise <laughs> I will improve my <laughs> English the next time. But I was trying very hard to understand this, this, um, this woman. Um, because for me as a human being, it was, was a big challenge to try to understand this kind of person that at that moment was um, causing me uh, a lot of hurt. It was hurting me in some ways. So that was uh, the beginning for me, I think, when I went to Joanopolis to meet Carolina and talk about movies and references because, you know, we had so uh, a short time to, to understand that, that place and that people. And I started to, to interview women, women, and, and to, to go to, to, to the mass at all the Sundays and <laughs> yeah. And and actually um I, 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 I've tried very hard to um, get out of uh, all of my prejudice about that type of person that in my life is, is it's very different f for me. But and maybe this is the 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 moment that we that <laughs> It's it's more difficult, and the, at the same time, it's 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 easier because it's so different that I I, I really um, have to I have I have as a human being I, I really want to to understand her to um, I don't know because as an actress as well, but as a human being, it's, it's important for me, especially in this moment. So. And I found uh, my muse in Joanopolis, which th that calls Lourdinha. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, probably you cannot recognize because it's in Portuguese, but this, the accent is it's, it's a huge cha challenge for me. And uh, so we worked a lot on this and, you know, yeah, we went to her house a lot of times. I have to learn how to, I'm vegan. So, yeah. So and it, it killed chicken. Oh, it's were really hard. I had I had to learn how to, yeah, to see. I, I didn't kill any chicken, but I had to learn. I had to watch, and so. Yeah. <laughs> she would look at me every day, and she'd be like. Oh my God! I'm sick in my stomach, and you are the one who did it. I'm, I will never oh forget. 
Yeah. 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 I'd like to take the point that uh, you said that uh, the film is political, mm -hmm. and that uh, you said that uh, the dif the difficulty to make a film. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past years, in Brazil, has had a turbulent governments, and uh, it just has been directly affecting films and the country's general culture. But what I can see, I am, and I'm glad about it, is that there uh, are new ways to investigate the, this reality. New directors are coming up with an empowering, empowering people's voices. How do you see like uh, charcoal being part of this new trend? How do you see this new moment well, I, I for think our films? I think charcoal is a film about the naturalization, the banalization of violence. It's a cycle that you know the the last elasticity of morals flexibility. and flexibility of morals and about hypocrisy. As she said, in Brazil we have like this so-called family and and God and everything name of God and family, it's fine if you arm people, whatever, because it's you are protecting, but you give guns to protect. I mean, it's everything, it's contradictory. You have a president who is, I mean, well, oh my God, no, no words to describe. And yeah, so, uh, but you know, so you, you, he has said once that he would prefer to have a dead son than a gay son. I mean, so you find yourself in a place where what's absurd? What's still absurd? And I think Charco is a film about it, about these choices that you made in the name of what? But it's fine because God says, because the family is together. So, uh, and I think this is a very important subject now in, in Brazil in the times that we are we are living. Yeah, and also you have this kind of such a dark humor, and uh, uh, I'd like to you to say how do you use it, uh, this humor with such a dark material, you know, as it was the choice from the beginning. Or did it come up late? No, it, it was intended since yeah. from the very yeah. beginning. Uh, I guess even in my short films, it, I always have this tone. It's the way I see life. So yeah. <laughs> uh, it, I think the humor is a way that I, that you know, more natural way for me to criticize things, and it. It's the I, I don't know. It's the way that I know how to talk about things, the way I am. So, um, and I, I find myself more comfortable even in the darker, darker subjects to, to go, uh, through uh, some. I think the, being uncomfortable, um, the feeling of uh, the uncomfort is the way good way to say uncomfort. Yeah, the uncomfort, in, uncomfort to be uncomfortable is something that you somehow raise questions and you know raise reflections and i think this dark humor intends to to make you know uh, this uncomfortness and to to bring up these re reflections uh, can i say yeah, something please. for me as a part of the the crew was was so healing to 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 have this humor because we were so sad, we were so profoundly hurt at that moment. So it was really healing for me to be able to laugh a little bit um, besides the, the, the tragedy that we were facing. Uh, let's talk about the experience that you have these past months, charcoal, had it this it is world premiere at Toronto Film Festival, and uh, followed by San Sebastian Film Festival, and uh, I'm curious to know what do you think the audiences and we want the audiences to take it away from the film, the movie. Oh. <laughs> we, we'll find out with the questions maybe from the audience, but I think uh, I would like the, the audience to, uh, I would be happy to bring this reflection on the violence, on these values that are distorted. Does this work exist? Mm -hmm. uh, 
in in our country right now, and I think in many places of the world as well. And to fall in love with you, too. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone know. <laughs> yes, I have the last one. It's uh, 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 what's the next next for you both? Like Maev, she is a great actress. I don't know what she's doing. She always doing something new, <laughs> and uh, she works on TV, theater, and movies. And uh, this girl is, I follow her since the first short, no? And uh, she won in a festival that I, 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 I am the director of programming in Brazil. She won her first short there, was an incredible short. And after that, everyone was there always. Could you tell us something, some project that you can share with us? <laughs> Well, uh, I did also her second feature. So cool. <laughs> she, she wasn't satisfied with just a feature <laughs> in a year, so she did the second one, and which calls Tall, and she's uh, editing right now. And uh, I just uh, finished um, uh, another feature from a really talented director, uh, Nara Normandi in Chion, in Alagoas, Northeast Brazil. And I'm about to begin the rehearsals uh, in a Netflix series in Brazil. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to be a federal police. Well, that's it. <laughs> I can see you there. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to have fun. <laughs> yeah. That's great. What about you? She told well, about, but uh, yeah, but what are you expecting there, you know, what you... Yeah, the pandemic's kind of jammed, though I had two, two feature films that I had written, and I, at some point, I needed to shoot both of them in 2021 because of some actors' schedule and the <laughs> DOP schedule as well. So we did Charcoal in the uh, middle of 2021, and in the end of 2021, we did Tall. So I'm editing now and going to post-production, and um, after that I um, I have the first treatment of my what would be my third feature. And <laughs> but you know that's right now the more concrete is that. That's great. Uh, thank you so much for accepting our invitation. Thank you. Thank you for thank being you here. Thank you so much. It's a yeah. pleasure. And Mill Valley is so beautiful. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. I hope we can come back with much time to enjoy the We all, the city. <laughs> We all would love to have you more time here. And uh, I remember that Charcoal has two other screenings. Tomorrow at Berkeley, B, uh, PFA. Uh, and the next week, not not Saturday. Next Saturday, next week, at Roxy. We are at Roxy, San Francisco, for the first time. Yeah, look at us. Mill Valley is spreading around. Yeah, uh, please help us to spread. Okay, the world, the world. Thank you for being part of Mill Valley. The festival is just starting. We uh, have many other great films just waiting to be watched. Please check out the program at me, mvff.com. See you at the theaters. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>